So my name is Hans Helder, I'm from Wageningen University. Wageningen University is in the Netherlands. And um, I came over because it's, uh, I think it's, it relates to, to our research and we did a, uh, well last year we did an experiment that is rather relevant for this particular conference. And I thought it's, um, so I'm coming from a food web, um, uh, let's say background, that means that um, of course there are some pathogens that you would like to control in soils. Uh, but they are just, let's say, the pathogens are not the ma ma majority, they are just a minority and there is a, a whole food web behind it. And the food web makes, that, for instance, when it's autumn and there are a lot of leaves in the end, that there is organic material in the soil. So this is a really, let's say, a precious function. And um, we would like to control, let's say, the, the bad guys, the, 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 the plant parasitic nematodes, in such a way that uh, they are optimally controlled, of course, but at the same time, you would like to, to make sure that the, the good guys in the, in the soil that, 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 that makes your soil alive and, and, and contribute to plant, um, let's say, plant feeding are not too much affected. So I'm, uh, I'm not only interested in controlling, let's say, the, the pathogens, but I'm also involved, uh, let's say, I'm interested how we can optimize, to make optimal use of the, let's say, the biological functions that are present in the soil. Biofumigation makes it's, it's a kind of learning from nature, as you could call it. Um, plants have developed mechanisms to be unattractive for herbivorous insects. Herbivorous insects are insects that feed on plants. And it works often in, in such a way that there is a, a, a non-toxic component, there is a non-toxic component present in the plant, and there is in another compartment, and it's called the vacuole, there is an enzyme, and when they come together they make something toxic that is unpleasant for the, for the insect. But this is the case, uh, for instance, with mustard-like plants, but there are many other plant species as well, like uh, Plantago, for instance, Plantaginaceae, that's, that's another group of plants. So they make it in order to be unattractive. And what you do when you use biofumigation is learn from this principle and exploit this principle for our own benefit. But it's in fact, it's a natural system that is, has been developed already millions of years ago and we're just exploiting it, making use of it. Um, I think the future is in, um, we should make it into a more robust system, because now it's working, and it's working every now and then, and sometimes it's working for a certain pathogen, and sometimes it's, it's not working. I think we should, first of all, make up our minds, what are the, uh, what are the mechanisms, and how, we, how can we make it into a more reliable product, because I think when you would like to, Advertise this kind of, of treatment. It should be, um, yeah, it should be more or less robust. And I think in, in this particular phase we are not there yet. And uh, I'm currently I'm thinking about uh, whether we can disentangle, um, let's say, the effects. Of course, there is an effect when you incorporate plant material in the soil. You're first of all you're disturbing your soil. Second of all, you're, you're uh, incorporating a lot of fresh plant material in the soil, and there are, of course, these toxic components. And, um, um, well, we, we've shown that there is an enormous effect of this soil disturbance and the incorporation of a lot of plant material, and that in itself is, of course, already, uh, let's say, is boosting, let's say, the, 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 the organic matter co component within the soil. And with, with, with the, but with the, um, uh, either the, no, the, the um, like, let's say the glucosinolates that are produced by these mustard-like plants, you can play around with them because you can, can use various kinds of mustard plants, but you can also go to other families that produce, well, different but other kinds of, of toxic components, and maybe we should blend them or whatever. So the, 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 the whole, underlying principle that we can learn from how plants deal with herbivorous insects uh, and who, how they make themselves unattractive and using that uh, and applying that these insights uh, for our own benefit, I strongly believe that this is, this is the way to go. Yeah.